Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President, President of the General Assembly, dear colleagues, Secretary General, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished delegates. President, on behalf of Senegal, I wish you every success as you preside over the work of the General Assembly. I thank your predecessor and I renew our support to the Secretary General as he carries out his work in the service of this organization. Since our last session, the state of the world has not improved. For millions of people, daily life is one of fear, violence, poverty, and inequalities. Many countries continue to suffer for the economic and social impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. Climate change has reached an unprecedented level. The tragedy of illicit migration reminds us of the need to implement the global compact for safe, orderly, and regular migration and to continue to combat the criminal networks that are organizing this illicit traffic in human beings. A high intensity war is leading to humanity standing at the risk of a major disaster. In Africa, the resurgence of coups d'etat remain a subject of grave concern. Senegal reiterates its firm condemnation of any type of anti-constitutional government change. The emer current emergency is also that of terrorism, which continues to gain ground in Africa without appropriate action taken by the Security Council. Particularly during its mandate in the Council in 2016 and 2017, Senegal has repeatedly raised the inefficiency of the peacekeeping operations in Africa, whose mandates and equipment are not in line with the current situations. There is no peace to maintain where the peace needs to be restored. Armed groups need to be fought. Those who are pillaging and attacking innocent populations every day. They're occupying entire territories and threatening states. They're threatening the very existence of states. The tumultuous history of two current peacekeeping missions in Africa are quite telling when it comes to this. And therefore, Senegal in, once again calls on the Security Council to fully assume its responsibilities in combating terrorism in Africa under the mechanism of collective security as envisaged in the Charter. In the same spirit, we call for de-escalation and a peaceful settlement to the war in Ukraine. We renew our support to the right of the Palestinian people for a state that is living co coexisting peacefully with the state of Israel, both within their safe and internationally recognized borders. Mr. President, the theme of this session reminds us that the ideal at the very foundation of multilateralism is to create and promote confident, solidar, uh, confident and inclusive relations between countries, relations that are created in solidarity. Senegal recognizes the significant services that the UN system and that of Bretton Woods has been giving to its member states for almost 80 years now. But we all know that the multilateral system is the heritage of 
are past and now it is obsolete. As was rightly said by the Secretary General Antonio Guterres, a system that continues to ignore the realities of its time and the needs of more than three quarters of its members highlights the inequalities, generates the con conditions for this system to be contested and provokes a risk that it may fragment. If we want to avoid this fragmentation, wisdom would tell us that we need to reform political, economic, and financial governance at the global level. It must be more just, more representative of the diversity, and thus reaffirm its legitimacy. We can do so if we devote the necessary political will to it. The G20 showed this by admitting the African Union as a full member. I warmly thank the members of the G20 for their unanimous support to this initiative, which Senegal had uh, proposed while it was presiding over the African Union. We hope that this example of inclusion given by the G20 will be f followed by the Security Council and the Bretton Woods institutions for a multilateralism that is more representative of the interests of all its members. In the same vein, Se Senegal remains committed to the vision of peaceful international relations based on the equal dignity of peoples, cultures, and civilizations. On the 31st of October, 1961, one year after the independence of our country, President Leopold Sidar Senghor expressed this vision using these words. A particular civilization cannot be established without uh, causing the majority of humanity to rise up against it. 62 years later, our position remains the same. Between free peoples, where the sociocultural realities and history are diverse, there cannot be any legitimacy for some to define and force a single way of living upon all. For example, some sort of um, one-size-fits-all civilization. What works for some does not necessarily work for others. Together, we can practice our common values. But also together, we must respect our differences. This, for Senegal, is what must be the foundation of a revitalized universalism, one that is more open, more effective in addressing the challenges of our time. And amongst these challenges is the climate crisis. While extreme phenomenon are multiplying, Senegal remains committed in the implementation of the Paris Accord on Climate Change. And through our willing policies to, when it comes to energy mixes and renewable energies now represent 31% of our electricity. With the signature last June of our partnership for a just energy transition, our ambition is to raise this rate to 40% by 2030. And here I thank the partner countries that have supported us in the mobilization of 2.5 billion euros over an initial period of three to five years, beginning in 2023, to finance our projects under this partnership. At the same time, we will continue the completion of uh, carbon neutral infrastructure, those that are resilient to climate change. These include two projects 
of mass transport, a regional express train, and a rapid transit bus line, both of which will be electric. With the implementation of our national and continental projects under the Great Green Wall, our countries are clearly committed to climate action in line with their means available. Green projects in Africa are financed through commercial debt, but they should be supported by the mobilization of $100 billion a year as established during COP15 in 2009 to finance climate action. Climate justice would mean that a, the continent that contributes less than 4% of emissions and that suffers the most should not be condemned to become indebted to repair and prevent the damage that it is not responsible for. Senegal is in favor of just equitable energy transitions, those that take into account the specific needs of our countries, including universal access to electricity, something that more than 600 million Africans are still without. Thus, if we want COP28 to be a meeting of promises that were kept, we must ensure that the announced financing be available and accessible through simplified and transparent procedures and modalities. Mr. President, dear friends, on the 25th of February, 2024, will be the date of the Senegalese presidential election. Like those that have come before, it will be democratic, free, and transparent. And the 2nd of April, I will pass the power to my successor after 12 years at the head of our country. I would like to thank the member countries of our organization for their friendship and their uh, cooperation. Being the voice of Senegal, creating and maintaining friendships in this uh, Assembly of Nations, where our common efforts are towards our common goals, was a great honor for me. On behalf of the people of Senegal, I wish to express my gratitude to all my colleagues. And I ask them to welcome my successor with the same friendship and the same consideration. I will keep the same feelings of friendship and cordial respect for you all. I am confident that the Senegalese tradition of openness and dialogue will be that of my successor as he remains committed to the trusting friendships that unite our country and all the members of the United Nations. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for your kind attention. Afrique Media, le monde, c'est nous.